and welcome back to my channel so in today's video i will be sharing with you my heavy oiling routine and first i will be using this raw organic coconut oil and this 100 percent mustard oil which is absolutely amazing so i'm actually going to be mixing these two together into a bottle and getting ready to distribute it all throughout my hair so at first i am going to detangle my hair very well which is dry hair you can see is really dry and it needs a little bit of moisture so i'm going to use some hot water straight up hot water and spritz it all over my hair and because my hair is low porosity i have to actually squeeze the water into my hair if not it will actually sit on top and not penetrate and next i'm going to go in with the oil and apply it all through my scalp and then i'm going to massage it into my scalp just for a couple seconds and then i'm going to apply it all throughout my hair so just keep on watching here are some benefits of both the oils I am using today. Coconut oil works for me. Um, I know it doesn't work for everybody, but you can also use an oil that works best for your hair. I do highly recommend you try mustard oil. This is actually my first time trying it, and I absolutely love it. You can pair this with olive oil because mustard oil does have a slight smell to it that you may not like. But once you apply a curry oil with it, it works really well. If you have low porosity hair like myself, you do have to apply just a little bit of water to your hair just to dampen your hair just a bit because it's really hard for water to actually penetrate or any product really to penetrate our hair to get it moisturized. Now, it looks like I'm using a lot of water, but I'm really not. It's just that um, my hair being low porosity, the water will actually roll off my hair. So my hair is actually getting moisturized, but the extra water you'll see is actually falling off once I squeeze it. And the squeezing just helps the water get into my hair. And you'll tell and see that once your hair starts to um, curl up and become, you know really short and start shrinking up so you'll know when your hair is actually becoming moisturized and just a little slight massage to the scalp i don't really go overboard with the massaging of the scalp how some people do i just like to lightly massage my scalp and just pull the oil through my hair and i like to focus a lot on the ends i use a lot of oil on my ends and i actually hold my hair on the ends you'll see a little bit in the video i hold my hair at the ends just to pull the oil on the ends of my hair because that's where my hair needs it the most now you will not break your hair off if you hold your hair very taut at the ends just do that and you'll see some good results <laughs> you can see here my face is kind of slightly broke down because this process is very messy um so make sure you have some towels or some old t-shirts on the floor and around your neck just so you can um keep control of the oil that's actually falling off your hair now once i get to the top of my hair i really like to massage my edges because my edges are very um thin at the moment and um, I just like to massage those really well and apply a lot of oil. And also the front of my hair right here that I'm showing is very dry too. So I pay extra attention to this part of my hair. And as you can see, my ends are becoming very relaxed and moisturized. And you can see that it's curling up and everything like that so just you know focus more on the areas of your hair that need the most TLC now you can see I apply a lot of oil to my hair I mean it's all everywhere seriously I mean all over my shirt on the floor my face but it's all good because we're trying to get our hair very nourished and moisturized and everything like that now also in the middle part of my hair that I'm actually oiling right here is very thin too now i did notice um a few weeks ago that this part of my hair seems to be very thin and the texture of this area is different too so i'm just going to apply some oil here and massage it in and everything like that and keep it moving 
after I finished with the oil and process, I used this plastic cap, which wasn't enough, so I went in with a plastic bag and applied that to my hair. And then I used an old t-shirt and cut it into strips just to apply around the perimeter of my head to help with the oil that would be rolling down my face. And I end up using two of these because I found out quickly that one was not enough. And then I'm going to use my hot head heating cap just to give my hair a little bit of extra benefits which is also good and I only use this for about 30 minutes so after all of that is up I'm going to go in with my shampoo and I really like this shampoo it's been a while since I've used it and this is my favorite hair mask at the moment very nice you should get it and then I'm going to use this Shea Moisture Leave-In, which is very nice on the scalp. And then I'm going to be styling my hair with the Obian Naturals Curl Enhancer Custom, which is my favorite. So right out of the shower, this is my hair. You can see it is very moisturized, very soft very light and fluffy if you have dry hair i highly recommend you using some type of pre-pool or some type of heavy oiling um treatment on your hair because it really really helps with dry hair it that's all i have for this video if you like this video and found it informative please leave it a thumbs up also comment down below if you like to pre-pull your hair and what you like to use whether it's oils conditioners whatever type of concoction you use to you know get your hair together and please subscribe to my channel and when you subscribe hit the bell button next to the subscribe button so you'll be the first to know whenever i post a video and until then i will see you guys in my next video